How long have you been up? Just wanted to get breakfast sorted before Mum and Dad started moving around. Oh, playing on your mind, was it? Wanted to get their full English sorted. Because you were tossing and turning all night long. Well, it's New Year. Loads to do. Especially when unexpected guests show up. Yeah, no surprise. Did you find out why? What are you saying? Just wondered if anything was wrong. You were talking for ages after I went to bed. Just explaining about Cindy. Cindy? <laughs> they couldn't go on calling her Rose, could they? Well, she's everywhere you look nowadays, isn't she? You know, can we put last year behind us and start again? OK. Oops. Looks like one of them's up. We were um, at Jimmy's funeral a couple of days ago. You remember Jimmy? He used to be an old mate of your dad's. Salt in the earth. Anyway, um, <clears throat> people got talking, and um, suddenly all these stories came out. <laughs> Things we never knew, and we'd, we'd known him for years. And it, 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 it got us thinking, what if, if things c come out? After we go. Leave it to her, she said. Let me do this. Well, you're making a great fist of it so far, aren't you? Of what? We were paid. OK, boy? We got paid to take you in. I know how all that sounded, like it was some sort of business thing, but, but it wasn't. It was just a way of, of me getting what I wanted more than anything in the world. A child. My child. In, in my mind, it, it, it always made you even more special. Other mums give birth and that's the kid they had. I ain't got no choice. But we chose you. Look, uh, it's a lot to take in, I, I know. But, Mum, just need some time to get me head around it. Did I know what? You're always talking to Mum. Did she tell you anything? Is it your dad? Has he done something? I just need to talk. Um, I wouldn't ask, but you've known him a long time. I, I can't right now, George, but call me tomorrow, yeah? We'll meet. No. No. I shouldn't have come. Sorry. Yes, you should. <sighs> this hasn't got anything to do with you anymore. Whatever happens with you is always going to have something to do with me. George. 
So you'd rather kip in here than apologise? No, you were sound asleep and I didn't want to wake you up. And yes, I am sorry. Well, let's draw a line under everything then. You here to take a delivery from the brewery later? I promise Wilco I'll go for a run around Victoria Park. Wilco? Fella from the gym. We're trying to get our love handles sorted. Well, far be it from me to stand in between a man and his exercise. You still meet up later. Great. It's just um, I'm going out of my head here. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Well, I'm not surprised to see me then. I think I stand you up. I don't know what I think about anything anymore. So. You can tell me what happened last night. What did your mum and dad say to upset you so much? Remember how I told you they were always vague about my adoption? Turns out there's a good reason for that. From the 1950s onwards, thousands of black babies and children were taken in by white British families. The practice known as farming was in existence right up until the 1990s. Rob. That's what it says. Adverts were placed in the Homes Wanted section of publication. The farming boom was at its height during the period between 1966 and 1970, when nearly 7,000 adverts were placed. George, that's when you were born. This, this is you. No, that's not right. Must be something else. Yeah, your mum said it was happening all over the place, right? Black kids being taken in by white British families. The, the adverts in the paper. Yeah. But it also says the parents who placed the ads were African immigrants. Jamaican. Who actually told you your biological parents were Jamaican? The glory and Eddie sit you down and tell you? No. But I asked my mum if that's what I was. And the black community in our area was Jamaican. I hate to tell you this, I think she was just telling you what you wanted to hear. Do you think I'm stupid? I wash your kit every time you come back from the gym and it is soaked in sweat. And this is dry and still folded. So what you been doing? George. I went to see Cindy. You yeah, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it. More for me. I just needed to talk to her. That's all it was. What about? What's the matter? These countries here... I don't really know anything about them. What are you talking about? Nigeria. Cameroon. Ghana. I don't understand what you're saying. Neither do I. That's the problem. What's the matter? I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know who I am. Look, Dad, about what Mum told me the other day. About my birth parents. What about them? Where are they from? Only I always thought they were Jamaican. But I've been reading up on these, you know, black kids like me that were farmed out to white families. 
That's what it was called, farming. And it seems that all of them had African roots. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, sounds about right. So my parents were African, not Jamaican. Look, I didn't handle all of that. It was your mum's idea. She sorted it out. Uh, your dad said that you asked him about your birth parents. I was going to tell you everything the other day, but you didn't seem ready to hear it. You're right. They were from Africa. I'm sorry I said otherwise. I was trying to protect you. You already felt different enough as it was. Whereabouts in Africa? Ghana. Ghana. Your father was over here studying engineering, I think he said. You met him? Well, just the once. And just your father, when he brought you to us. Yeah. Your mum was too upset to come. Mum, uh, from what I've read, it was usually a fostering arrangement. Well, that's how it started out, yes. But after you'd been with us for six months or so, the payment stopped coming. And I, I, I don't know, your parents just disappeared. I, I don't know what happened, but I could see how much your father loved you that one time we met. He still left. They wouldn't have done unless there'd been some kind of crisis. And we, we had no way of finding out. This, this is why we didn't tell you, to stop you f feeling like this, like you were, you were being abandoned and, and, and that you weren't loved. No, no. But, but they loved you. And, and I swear, on my life, you have been loved every minute of every day since I first set eyes on you. Don't, don't hate me, Georgie, please. I couldn't bear that. <laughs> oh, I love you, Georgie. <laughs> Can I love you too, Mum? <laughs> Come on. Let's get you in that cab, you soppy mare. Night, <laughs> right, boy. You know, apart from your ex's histrionics, I thought tonight was a triumph. Yeah. Everything out in the open means we can move on together as a family. Come here. Hmm. Well done. What you tell him? What we agreed. Are you sure we shouldn't tell him the rest? He knows all he needs to know for now. The rest can wait. 